here it is. Straight up from China. Hey there, I'm Robert. Welcome to Rhino Dilla Designs YouTube channel. So today I've got some exciting news. I just ordered a pottery wheel. So I've been researching and researching for a while now of an affordable pottery wheel. And the thing is, getting into pottery is is a big deal. I mean, like it's a financial investment if you're gonna do wheel kiln, like the, the whole shebang with a, with a pottery studio. The lowest barrier of entry is to just Find a local pottery studio, um, a class that you can take and, and use those facilities. That being said, our local pottery studio, does, we, we can't go in person. Like if they're not doing in-person classes. They are doing remote classes, which is, is great and a lot of hand building stuff, but me and Hannah mainly throw on the wheel. So it leaves us to figure out things. And, and with the studio getting closer and closer to being done, I'm really anticipating just jumping right into making pots. The problem is we have a kiln now, we don't have a wheel and wheels are really, really expensive. So um, the, the wheel that I usually throw on at the pottery studio is a Shimpo Whisper wheel. And that's, I mean, like it's a 14 to $1,700 wheel. It's, it's really expensive. Um, the lowest price wheel that I can find is actually a speedball or reputable wheel. Let me let me preface that. Lowest price reputable wheel that I can find is a speedball artista. And those usually retail for somewhere around four to five hundred dollars. And it's not the greatest wheel out there. Um, it's a very good beginner's wheel. It, it's it's great for um, if you're if you if you throw small things. If you don't work large, if you if you usually are just throwing like bowls, cups, mugs, you know, plates. Um, if you're not making massive vases or anything really over ten pounds, it's it's a great wheel. But we're beyond that. I sometimes throw 10 plus pounds. I want to throw a large pot. So that's kind of out of the question for me. And what I was looking for is, okay, what are some alternatives out there? Because I guarantee you, if you get onto eBay or Facebook, even, even Amazon, you will find Chinese knockoff wheels, <laughs> okay? And they're sometimes listed as low as like a hundred bucks. And they, they look good, they're, they're photographed. Uh, to where they look bigger than what they are. If you actually read the specs on them, a lot of them are just really low powered, small wheels that would probably be probably be appropriate if you're throwing either miniatures or you're only throwing um, mugs, you know, and, and that, that's all you do. Um, but there are some out there that have specs that are on par now these are specs on paper what they advertise on par with some of the bigger name wheels and so what i want to know is is it worth spending 250 dollars on a knockoff chinese manufactured imported wheel rather than the 450 dollars for a entry-level low-powered speedball artista wheel because that's the direction I was going and then I thought you know what if this if this is as good I'm one paying half of what I would pay and two I run the chance of it being better and so it's it's just kind of a game that I'm playing right now so I just ordered a Chinese knockoff wheel on eBay <laughs> and I'm waiting for it to get here. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, as soon as it gets here, I'll, I'll check back in with you guys and we'll unbox that together and just see what it's all about. Um, I probably won't do an actual test of it this, this video. Um, it's mainly going to be an unboxing, but I just want to share that with you and I hope you enjoy this video. So the next time I see you will be the day of the delivery. All right. So two exciting things are happening today. One, 
the wheel is coming today. Two, I go get my first COVID vaccine shot. Load up in the truck and go get a vaccine and be back and get back to work and wait patiently on the edge of my seat for my wheel to get here. I'll check in with you guys later. Okay, well, just got my first shot. I had to stay there for like 15 minutes afterwards just to make sure I was okay and I'm okay and um, no real side effects or anything for now. Um, I didn't really anticipate anything happening. I'm glad I was able to get it. I'm glad I was able to get it. But back to home to wait on my wheel to get there and I'm pretty excited about that. Hey buddy. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey, what is it? What is it? So I just got home and there was a box on my doorstep. So here we are. Doug, I know. I know. Yeah, I know. You usually go out this front door for walks. So I'm going to have to. All right. Give me a hand. Here it is. Straight up from China. I'm pretty excited about this. So we'll get this in and unbox it. I'll check in with you in a little bit. This thing's heavy. I mean, it's lighter than I thought it would be, but it's heavy. All right, it's here. It's finally time for this unboxing. I am fully expecting this to be a 200 plus dollar piece of crap, but if it is at least as good as the Speedball Artista wheels, which are 450 bucks, it's a good buy. So, um, We'll see about that. Let's just open it up, see what we have here, okay? This thing is packaged. I mean, it is completely taped up, which is great. I have no worries about anything being lost. Maybe not broken. It looks like there's a box inside of a box situation going on here. There's a little, a little tear in the, in the box over on this side. Or just decide that I am not facing you because, well, my address is there. So. I like that knife. Got it as a uh, groomsman at my friend's wedding. Let's see. Okay, definitely not a box in a box situation. Um, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Just had to get something real quick. And let's see here. Ooh. It's a big wheel. It's a big wheel. This is nice. All right, let me grab you real quick. All right. So we've got a big pottery wheel. This thing should be 14 inches. Let's see here. We've got, yeah, right at 14 inches. All right. What's that, 38 centimeters, something like that? for you non-imperial people, um, which is great because, well, all the other wheels were very small. They were like nine inch wheels, which, I mean, I don't throw a huge, huge things, but I like to have room on the wheel to put, you know, the clay down and do what I need to do. The thing that's missing from here, which I'm just now realizing, is bat pinholes. So that's something that I'm gonna have to locate and drill myself, uh, which shouldn't be an issue, but I'll probably make a video on that a little bit later if I end up keeping this wheel. So let's just tear open the box. Well, it's, it's big and bulky. Um, hopefully when I do this, it won't just fall out, but if 
it does, it was cheap. Look at that thing. It's very basic. Very basic. I don't even know if it came with a catch tray. Oh, yep, it did. Okay, I'm gonna have to set this down somewhere. All right, catch tray, some tools, somebody's snack package. Look at that! Somebody snacking on the job just threw their trash into my package here. That's crazy. Oh, some clay tools. Nice. And very dirty catch tray. Dirty as in dusty, dingy. That'll clean up fine. Well, that's it. That's all that was in the box. I'm very curious. What is this? Anybody know what this is? Hiding? Leave a comment below if you know what this thing is. It looks like... It looks like a candy. But I may be wrong. Is this some sort of like... Novelty thing? Is this a novelty? I'm sure y'all figure it out. Leave a comment below what what you think this is. I'll I'll look it up, but uh, I'm curious to know what y'all's guess is. <laughs> With that very minimal packaging, surprisingly, um, we have a pottery wheel with a catch tray and. This way you can see how these this mechanism works. Here we go. So it's a belt drive with probably a little like two horsepower motor here. Nothing, nothing big, but you don't need anything big on these things. Um, you just need it to be able to handle itself. Um, these caps, I wonder if these come off. I mean, I will get them off in that way. I can actually extend these legs down, make it make it sit uh, taller because my idea is to make this a standing a standing wheel um, just gotta cut this thing off let's see nice new sharp knife well this they just put this in a really awful position. Let me grab some pliers, because that's probably going to be best. Good old pair of linemans. That'll always work. So you just crush it and pull it. Oh. Boy, I don't cut the cut the cable when I cut this. All right. Actually, I may be able to snip it with these wire cutters. There we go. Okay, so we've got a nice little foot pedal that should be infinite. Um, you know, an infinite variation. Hopefully that's actually the case. And that obviously feeds into the motor and we're able to vary the speed based on what we're doing if we're, you know, centering a pot, trimming, whatever. All right, we've got a simple off-on switch, which is great. Real easy. Um, stationary, forward, reverse. Great. Um, I believe stationary just locks, maybe locks the wheel up. I don't know. Maybe it just doesn't engage that, that wheel, that motor. Uh, reverse, forward. Uh, for left to right hand throwing or if you're doing certain types of decoration overall, it's a new Quite dirty from shipping and manufacturing and whatnot uh, Pottery wheel the next test is just to see if it works see if it turns on um, We've got a catch tray I don't even know if this catch tray fits It does. Man, this aluminum wheel head is, it rings. I don't know if y'all can hear that. All 
I want to go ahead and turn it on to see see if this thing works. Let me get an extension cord. Also, see how loud it is. That's another thing. This um, the decibel range on this on the listing was supposed to be somewhere between a Brent wheel and a obviously a Whisper wheel. Um, for those of y'all who know your wheels, make sure this is on forward and off. I don't want to ex accidentally trigger anything. So make sure that pedal is all the way down. Turn this on. We've got a red light. That seems good. It's turning. Okay. Not as fast as I would anticipate, but it will probably get the job done. I wonder if I can, um, if, if that's an adjustment that I can make on here, or if it has more to do with the motor or the power supply. It is really quiet, surprisingly. Um, let's see how it does if it goes reverse. It does. Same thing. All right. I don't know what stationary it is. Or ST. I assume that's stationary. It doesn't, yeah, it just disables the, disables the foot pedal, which is great. All right, turn that off. We're good. That was surprisingly quiet. Surprisingly quiet. So that's a good thing. Um, so what I'm going to do here is... Um, not, not this video. I just wanted to unbox this, share this with you. I'm actually excited that... It is as seemingly as good as, as what it is. Um, I'm obviously going to have to make some modifications here, uh, drill some bat hole pin or pat, bat pin holes, drill some bat pin holes, <laughs> and uh, make sure that this is, is is level, that this stays level. So um, I don't. There's not really a ton of wobble on this. I mean. That's what you get with a cheap wheel. Uh, in all honesty, is is you don't you don't get the sturdiness, the structure, the uh, the longevity <laughs> of of a uh, American manufactured or properly branded and and um, reputable wheel. So I went with El Cheapo to get back into making pottery since we don't have access to our uh, community pottery studio and it doesn't look like we're gonna be getting access anytime soon. This will allow us to throw some pots at home and um, and be fine that way. Now, uh, there is some machining uh, ridges here. Let me show you. So if you can't, let's see if you can tell, zoom in. There's some machining ridges. Now, this is not uncommon. However, they are pronounced. Um, you know, these, these centering circles are, are very typical. But usually, this surface in between, this surface in between is um, usually fairly smooth. Now, there is a ridge here. I mean, it's already rough. It, it, there's a lot of resistance just with my finger, you know, fingerprint ridges and everything uh, on that. And I, I don't like that. I've never just thrown straight on the wheel. I've always used throwing bats. So for those of you who throw on a metal wheel, leave a comment. Is that common? Um, is, is pronounced ridges like this common? Um, does it really mess with you? Would you smooth it out somehow? It seems to have some sturdiness to it. So you look down here, we've got the support ridges and those seem intact. It looks like it's a cast piece, cast aluminum, which is good. So um, I don't see any cracks, anything like that. So all I have to do is, is um, drill some locator pin holes. That way I can, and, and drill and tap those, that way I can screw in uh, uh, some bat pins and, and use bats on this thing um, and that'll solve my problem because I, I, I prefer wooden bats anyways and um, as long as the wheel head spins level I don't think that there will be a problem here using this 
for now until we are able to get going and um, can build up enough savings or revenue that I can actually go and purchase an actual uh, American made good quality wheel. So let's take a look at these uh, repair tools that came with it. I find it funny that these are <laughs> these are called clay rope. My wife just got home. She triggered the garage door. Okay. So these are, <laughs> I find it funny that these are called clay mold repair tools. Um, these are trim tools, right? Uh, I, I believe that that's what's in here. All right. Try to stay in frame for you guys. So we've got this and let's just dump this out without cutting ourselves. Okay. Those are sharp. Definitely sharp. Okay. So we've got some conventional trim tools, maybe a chatter. Well, no, that it's not probably too thick to chatter with, but some conventional trim tools to use and have fun with and experiment with. I would never buy these on my own, just because I'm I'm used to the uh, mud tool, the mud tools do wall tool. But uh, there you go. So overall, are you filming? I am filming. <laughs> Look, we got a wheel. We did get a wheel. Oh no. You have to work on it. You can't use a bat. Um, so I'm going to drill locator <gasps> pin holes in it and drill and tap those. Guy. Yes, yes. <laughs> so I didn't realize that it didn't have those. I mean, we could just buy a, you know, 14 inch wheel head that has them already. But I, mean, I figured we have it. It's it's not going to hurt anything to just go ahead and, and drill them. Yeah, i got to make sure you do it to where it works. Right? Yeah, yeah, it'll be fine. That's, it smells that's like grease. Fairly simple to do. It smells like uh, manufacturing from China. Look in the box. Look in the look, box? Look in the box. Is there a lizard? No, there's a remnant of a worker. This? Yes. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> it's so funny. It was just in the box like that. And um, I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's some sort of thing. I, I don't know if it was it's like... All in Chinese or Japanese. I mean, it's from China. It's funny. So all in all, this was what? A $250 wheel, which was... A whole lot cheaper than the very lowest base model um, Artista Speedwall Artista wheel, which is probably the cheapest wheel that you can get. And it's a tabletop, and it only handle like 10 pounds of clay. So I figured that if this was at least as good as the Artista wheel, it's a good purchase, right? Because um, it's 250 for a bigger wheel head. The Artista wheel smaller and um, a little bit more power. So hopefully this has good centering capability. We're gonna do a test video, a test run uh, with clay, with this wheel, as soon as we figure that out. I don't know if I wanna, I, I'm probably gonna wanna drill bat pin holes first. That way I can I can put a bat on here. Cause this is uh, the ridges, I don't like the ridges yeah, on here. That, that would hurt. Yeah, okay. So that's what $250 will get you on eBay for with a Chinese imported wheel. Um, I didn't expect, I, ex I expected much less to be honest, I, I really did. So um, it's good enough. I think if, especially if you don't know if you even like pottery in the first place or want to use a wheel to throw, if you're more of a hand builder, low level of entry right here. Um, so if, if you don't know and you just want to try um, and you don't want to drop 400 plus 500 plus bucks on a wheel or um, even a used wheel because I, I can't even find a used wheel they're they're really hard to find right now with the pandemic and everything but a used wheel will be you know just as expensive um, 500 600 bucks for um, a decent condition 
uh, use like Brent entry level wheel that's normally like 1200 bucks. So um, all that being said, for 250 bucks shipped, it's great. I think I think I'm I'm actually pretty happy with what this seems like it is. Now our use test will will definitely tell us if this is going to be useful at all. Um, and so we'll get some clay. Make sure that this is throwing level. Make sure that we can actually throw on it and and use it, and it can form a pot that's that looks good. And um, if so, we'll we'll jump into making pots, and that's exciting for me. So um, that being said, thanks for watching. You're awesome. Um, if you like this video, leave a comment. Tell me what you liked about it, what you're excited about. Um, give us a like. Please, uh, if you have any ideas as far as um, affordable wheels, recommendations for people, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. That's, I mean, that's, that's what we want um, our community to build and, and interact with each other. So leave it in the comments below. Give the video a like if you liked it, if you got something out of it, if you like these unboxing review type things. Um, if you want to see more of this type of stuff in the future, just let me know. Um, if you like art videos, art based uh, content, build videos, right now we've got an art studio build going on that where we're converting an old pole barn that we that was already existing on our property uh, into an, a pottery studio and an art and woodworking studio. So um, if you are interested in that, there's a whole other playlist that I'll put in the card in the corner here. Um, that you can go and, and follow that build. We're, we're in the middle of it right now. <laughs> and so click on that if you're interested and uh, definitely subscribe if you're interested in any of these types of videos, any of this type of type of content. I'm, I'm glad to have you here. And I think that we're gonna be off to a great start for 2021 making videos and content. And um, I'm excited. I hope you're excited too. And I want to give a quick plug as well. So I'm going to leave a link in the description for a group that, a group of friends that I recently reconnected with that we are playing a D and D campaign. If you're interested in D Dungeons and Dragons, we also we get together on Wednesdays and Saturdays over on Twitch. And the Twitch the Twitch handle is Killer Nerds from Inner Space. But it's five of us that we just get together and play games and do whatever we want basically and chat on Wednesdays and then on Saturdays. Uh, we play uh, Dungeons and Dragons. We're going through this new campaign uh, right now, and it's uh, probably the second. This is only the second time that I've played Dungeons and Dragons, <laughs> but it's a whole lot of fun, and it's great that I can I can connect with these guys uh, from across the country. Really, it's good fun. Uh, it's it's definitely for more. It's, it's not for kids. It's more for more mature audiences. But if you're interested in that t that stuff, there's a link in the description. You should go subscribe to our Twitch channel. Uh, I know that we'd, we'd appreciate the, the follows and views there, and I think you would have fun with it too. Um, the D&D campaign that we're actually f playing is interactive with our chat. So there's actually a, a player, a character that you control in the chat. Uh, based on on what's happening in the game with the rest of with the rest of us so it's pretty cool so with that being said thank you for watching thanks for being here uh, you are awesome um, we're looking forward to doing to doing a test with this we'll we'll be releasing that video hopefully soon and until then I'll see you next time